Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric, and today we're going to be playing another game from the 1905 season. Um, today we'll be featuring the, as we have most of the season, featuring the New York Giants, who are currently 4-4. Four and four. They've started the season off great with a 3 and 0 record, but have lost 4 out of their last 5. Um, this is game 3 of the series with the Philadelphia Phillies. And um, I was able to find a photo of the, well, kind of not really a photo, it's more like a painting, <laughs> sketch painting, of the Baker Bowl, where the Philadelphia Phillies actually did play in 1905, and um, so I thought I would put that in the game, so add a little bit more realism to the game. Um, I haven't tested it out with the uh, positions and everything, so the, the lines may be a little bit off um, as far as the foul balls go and stuff like that, but I tried to line up the positions as accurately as possible so we'll try that out um it'll be christy matthewson the ace of the new york giants going up against philadelphia phillies and sparks trying to get back on track here and uh because they did actually win the division um that won the league i should say the national league um by quite a bit uh, i believe um, been a little while since I played this season, so bear with me as I get the player names and everything back in. Um, so yeah, so actually it's Tully Sparks will be pitching for the Phillies, and he's coming in with a record of one and zero on the season in the area of four. He has a uh, he's pitched nine innings, so I think he just pitched one complete game. Uh, Twelve hits allowed, no home runs. Three walks and two strikeouts. Opponents are hitting 333 against him. And the Philadelphia, I mean, in the uh, New York Giants lineup is as follows. Um, Mike Donlin, the left center fielder, will be batting first. Sam Mertes, the left fielder, bats second. The catcher, Roger Bresnahan, bats third. Batting cleanup, the first baseman, Dan McGann. Batting fifth and playing right field, George Brown. Batting sixth, the third baseman, Art Devlin. Batting seventh, the shortstop, Bill Dalen. Or Dowlin, however you want to pronounce it. Batting eighth, Billy Gilbert, the second baseman. And on the mound and batting ninth, Christy Mathewson, the Christian gentleman. So, all right. So here we go. So let's get this game underway. So batting first is Mike Donlin, currently hitting 324 with no homers and five runs batted in. Has a couple stolen bases. So here we go. Sparks looks in for the sign. Is the windup in the pitch? And it looks like a poor play by, I think it was Gleason, the second baseman. And they carded that with a base hit for Donlin. So next up will be Sam Mertes hitting 194. Still looking for his first RBI. Does have three stolen bases on the season. Let's see. We're just going to go with a, yeah, might do a little hit and run here, why not? Donlin does have 33 stolen bases, so let's go with a hit and run. And it's a deep fly ball. Center fielder Thomas will make the catch. One down, Donlin has to hurry back to first. All right, next up will be the catcher, Roger Bresnahan, hitting 333 with an RBI. And so that's going to fall in there. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Why they're throwing it over there, I don't know. So obviously my base markers are a little bit off here. Um, all right. <laughs> Living... All right, so that falls in there for a hit. I believe they're going to score that a hit. 
Conley moves up to second. Yeah, looks like my fielding, fielders are a little bit off there, but. And who is that? Uh, McGann strikes out. So two down now with runners on first and second. George Brown up now, hitting 250 with a homer and seven runs batted in. Back to the pitcher. And that we That we retire the side. So Christy Mathewson comes up now on the mound. He'll be facing a lineup of the Philadelphia Phillies as his falls. Roy Thomas, the center fielder, bats third first. Batting second will be John Titus, the right fielder. The left fielder, Sherry McGee, bats third. Batting cleanup will be Ernie Courtney, the third baseman. Batting fifth will be Mickey Doolin, Doolan, the shortstop. First baseman, Kitty Bransfield, bats sixth. Batting seventh will be the second baseman, Kid Gleason. Batting eighth, the catcher, Fred Abbott. And on the mound, Tully Sparks, batting ninth. So Christy Mathewson comes into the game with a 2.12 ERA. He's a record of 1-1. One one. 17 innings pitch, 15 hits. There's a lot of home run. And hasn't walked anybody yet. And has struck out 8. Opponents are hitting 238 off of him. Roy Thomas is hitting 333 with an RBI. Three stolen bases. So he'll face Mathewson first. And slow dribble to third. Attempt a risky play. Only 7% out chance. Uh, he could throw it away, so I'm going to say no. So he just eats it. So Devlin is unable to get the out. And he credit that with a base hit. So Thomas is on. Start the bottom of the first for the Phillies. John Titus up now, hitting 265 with five runs batted in, two stolen bases. Thomas gets his lead. Matheson delivers. And looks like a chance of a double play here. So looks like a 6 4 3 double play. Dallin to Gilbert to McGann. And that base runner is erased. So Sam McGee, Sherry McGee up now, hitting 235 with a home run, four runs batted in. Bases are now empty. And then he hits one deep to right. And it looks like Brown is going to be underneath it. And then he will make the catch to retire the side. So after one, no score. So Art Devlin, the third baseman, bats now. Hitting 226 with an RBI. Here's the windup and the pitch by Sparks. Hits it to center. Thomas catches it on the warning track. One down. Bill Dial in the shortstop up now. Hitting 333 with no homers and four runs batted in. Two stolen bases. Has scored six runs also. Gets under one. McGee tracks it down. In left field. Two down. Billy Gilbert, the second baseman, hitting 217. Had three runs scored. Slow dribble to third, and it looks like Courtney is unable to handle it, and Gilbert will be on. So that would be an error on the third baseman, Courtney. With two down. So the pitcher, Christy Matthews, sent up now. He's yet to have a hit in five at bats to score a run. Hits it out to right. And the right fielder will make the catch, and that will retire the side. So we head to the bottom of the second. Still no score. Ernie Courtney up first, hitting 303 with an RBI. Has a stolen base and five runs scored. Matthew Sim looks in for the sign. President gives it to him. Here's the pitch. 
Little bit of second. Great play by Gilbert. Man, what a play that was. And he's able to get the out. So one down. For Mickey Doolin, the shortstop, hitting 242. The four runs batted in. Dribble it back to Mathewson. Over to McGann. Two down. That will bring up Kitty Bransfield, the first baseman, in 257. Six runs batted in. Six runs scored and two stolen bases. So this is the rubber match of the series. Phillies, uh, I can't remember which game it was. I think the I think we won just won the last game and the Phillies won the first game. And there's a strikeout. I know it was an extra inning game that we, yeah, we ended up losing that one in 13 innings. That's right. Where the Phillies pitcher, can't remember who it was, but pitched a complete game, 13 inning affair. Got the victory. All right, so Mike Donlin, center fielder, will lead it off. Top of the order now for the Giants. Got to hit his first time up. Got it a single. Hits it out to right. Titus drifts over and makes the catch. One down. Sam Mertes, left fielder up now. Fly to deep center his first time up. Gets under one, pops it up to short. Take a while to come down here. Doolin is under it and makes the catch for the second out. Bresnahan up now. Singled his first time up. Hits it over to second. Kid Gleason's up with it. Over to first. And to retire the side. So nothing doing for the Giants in the top of the third. Still no score. All right, Kid Gleason's up now. Need 226. With four runs batted in. Has scored five and still on a base. Ooh, gets good wood on this one. But not enough. Mertes is under it and makes the catch. One down. Catcher Fred Abbott's up now. Making his first at bat of the season. Hit 195 in the regular season and 128 at bats with no homers and 12 runs batted in. Matthewson looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to. Oh, gets through the hole. So, a base hit. So, one out single for Abbott. We'll bring up the pitcher, Sparks. Hmm. What should we do here? Looks like he's not going to try to bunt. It's going to be a foul ball. And third baseman's drifting over to see if he has a chance. It's out of play. Looks like I got that line okay. So, Matheson looks in for the sign. Two and two count. And strikes him out. So this is Matheson's second strikeout on the day. Still has yet to walk a batter this year. All right, so two down for Roy, Roy Thomas, the center fielder. Singled, had an infield single his first time up. And look at the runner's going to be off. And he's out. So Bresnahan throws, guns him out. And that'll end the inning. So we head to the top of the fourth. No score. Let's check out the ticker. Out of town scoreboard, nothing going on here. All right, McGann will lead it off for the uh, Giants. He is 0 for 1, struck out his first time up. Oh, and he gets hit. That one got away. So I'll lead off base runner for the Giants here in the fourth. Good start. Brown up now, grounded out to Sparks his first time up. 
So they grounded a second. See, oh, they're unable to turn two. So Gleason just goes over to first and think he can get the McGann at second. So we're in scoring position now for the Giants with one down. Bring up Art Devil in the third baseman. In 219 with four runs batted in. Yes. He flied to deep center his first time up. And then hits it to short this time. And is able to get it to first. McGann has the hold. All right, so Bill Dowell in the shortstop will be up now. By the deep left center his first time up. Hits it over to third and over to first for the out. So Giants aren't able to capitalize. And still no score going into the bottom of the fourth. So the Phillies will have the top of the order and Thomas, Titus, and McGee up against Matthewson. Thomas singled the fir his first time up. And it's going like, to like drop in. Brown throws it back in. So a leadoff single here for the Phillies in the bottom of the fourth. The right field of Titus is up now. He is 0 for 1. Ground to short his first time up. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> Don't know what that was. Ah, it's a foul bunt. Interesting play there. So he's back in the box with an 0 and 2 count. He gets down to the pitcher. Slow dribbler. And the play is at first. Thomas move up to second with one down. So now the Phillies have a runner in scoring position with one out for McGee. Fly to right his first time up. Oh, gets good wood on this one. Very good wood. Looks like it's going to be off the wall. And McGee is going to have himself a triple. So Donlin plays it off the wall and... I can't get McGee at third. A run comes in, and the Phillies lead it one to nothing. So Ernie Courtney up now. Round the second, his first time up. So one runner on third with just one out. There's a ground ball through. Pass McGann. A run will come in, and the Phillies lead it now two to nothing. All right, Doolin will come up now. Grounded back to the pitcher his first time up. Courtney gets his lead off at first. He looks like he's going to be running. And he's got thrown out. So Bresnan throws out his second base runner of the day. So two down now. Base is empty. And first walk of the year by Matthewson. Goes to Doolin. Two out walk. Bransfield up now. Struck out his first time up. And it goes through, gets the hit. Duel and Weeks to third, so runners at the corners with two down for Kid Gleason. Fly to the left his first time up. Gilbert a second. Gilbert's going to go the short way over to shortstop, and that will retire to the side. But the Phillies put up two on the board. And lead it two to nothing after four. Billy Gilbert up now. Grounded the third. Oh, he was safe on an error his first time up by the third baseman Courtney. And a dribble with a sh shortstop comes in for it and gets him. So a good play by Doolin. Matthewson up now. Fly, fly out to right his first time up. Dribble back to Sparks. And he gets him. So two down. Donlin up now. One for two. Hits it straight away. Right, right center field. And catches it for the out. So bottom of the fifth, 
Giants still down by two. Abbott's up now. One for one. Singled his first time up. And Matheson gets him for the strikeout. Pitcher Sparks up now. Struck out his first time up. And lines it to Devlin for the second out. Roy Thomas up now. Perfect two for two. Grounds it to Donlin. Throws it over to McGann. And that'll retire the side. Uh, top of the sixth. Giants will have Mertes, Bresnahan, and McGann. See if they can get something going here. Down by two. Uh, so he gets under one here. Gleason's drifting over on the outfield grass. And he will... Well, he went out quite a ways there and made the catch. For out number one. Bresnahan, one for two. Draws a walk. McGann up now. Struck out and was hit by a pitch. Joe Blitt a third. Goes the short, the long way. Resonant move up the second. Brown up now. Go for two. And a great play by Gleason. Dyker diving play gets up and throws him out. Gee, that saved the run. And the shutout is still intact for Tully. All right, so we head to the bottom of the sixth. Titus will lead it off, 0 for 2. And it's going to drop in there behind second. Doolin fires it into Gilbert. So a leadoff single here for the Phillies here in the bottom of the sixth. McGee up now, 1 for 2. So he lines it, soft liner to Gilbert, comes in a little bit, and makes the catch. One down. Courtney up now, one for two. And it's going to bunt. So successful sacrifice. Runner moves up to second for Doolin, 0 for 1. And grounded a third, and that will retire the side. So nothing doing for the Phillies here in the bottom of the sixth. Giants have only managed two hits on the day. Sparks has been really tough. Devlin will lead it off, followed by Dallin and Gilbert. Devlin's 0 for 2. And a leadoff walks. So good start to the inning for the Giants. Dallin up now. Gets under one and hits it to right. The right field the Titus Billy has to move on that one. Devlin gets back to first, one down. S second baseman Billy Gilbert up now. Made a great play to save a run last inning. And dribble to second. Over over to second. Second for one. Back to first. Double play. So Gilbert's able to turn the double play. Four six three. And that'll do it for the Giants. All right, Matthewson will face Bransfield, Gleason, and Abbott. And strikes him out and gets away, but Bresnahan is able to fire it over to McGann. One down. Gleason up now, 0 for 2. Dribbles it back to, oh, looks like he gets through. Seeing eye single there. So Gleason is on with a one-out single for Abbott. 1 for 2. It over to third. Looks like he's only play is the first. Runner moves up to second. So Gleason's on second with two down. Phillies hoping to add to their lead. Sparks up now, hoping to help him zone cause up. And lines it to McGann. He's playing him perfectly. So we head to the top of the eighth. Giants are down to the last six outs, trailing two to nothing. Uh, we'll leave Matthews in. He's a 236 hitter, which is good for back. Great for a pitcher and good for back then in general. Right. 
Matthewson gets under one, hits a straightaway center. Thomas is under it, makes the catch. One down. Donlin up now. One for three. Is it back to Sparks? Two down. The Giants just cannot get anything going today. Sam Mertes out and strikes out. So we head to the bottom of the eighth. Phillies two, Giants nothing. Thomas up. Oh, it's bobbled by Gilbert. Thomas will have himself a, is that an error? Yeah, an error, call that E4. Titus up now. And he's off. And fly ball, it's going to be out of play. Into the stands. First row of the stands. So 0 and 2 on Titus. And a line drive to Matthewson. Makes the catch. One down. McGee up now. 0 for 1 for 3. Ooh, gets good wood on this one. Brown is able to make the catch on the warning track for the second out. Courtney up now, one for two. Dribble it back to the... Oh, gets through. Kind of a weird little bounce there like the last time. Thomas makes it around the third, so runners at the corners with two down. The Doolin is 0 for two. And strikes out. So, the Giants are down to the last three outs here. Bresnahan will lead it off. One for two. Sparks still out there. Very economical 90 pitches. Grounded the short. Over to first. One down. So again up now. 0 for 2. Another grounded to short. And another out. So the Giants are down to their last out here. Gonna have maybe a pinch hitter for Brown. Now let's see who are we gonna have up here. Tallies are righties. Here we got for lefties here. I think we'll have Sammy Strang come in and pinch hit. So Strang comes in the pinch hit, hitting just 125 on the season, two RBIs. And gets under one, and it looks like the shortstop is going to make all, take part in all three outs. Oh, looks like it's going back. Oh, did that fall in there? What happened there? Looks like it fell in there. Drops in between the left fielder McGee and Doolin the shortstop. So, Giants still have life. Art Devlin up now. 0 for 2 in the day. Also walked. See if he can keep the inning going. Yes, he does. He walks. So, tying run is on base now for Dolan. See if they're going to stick with Sparks here. And they do. Oh, but he gets under one, hits it to right, and... Center fielder makes a great running catch. And the ball game is over. The Giants drop another one to the Phillies and now are under 500, a record of 4 and 5. The final score from Baker Bowl, Philadelphia 2, New York 0. Tully Sparks is the winner. He is now 2 and 0. Oh. Christy Mathewson is the loser. He is now 1 and 2. Time of the game, 1 hour, 45 minutes. All right, let's check out the box score. So Sparks goes to two and zero. Matthews in a one and two. The hard luck loser did let up nine hits though, so it's uncharacteristic for him. And he got his allowed his first walk, which unfortunately came around the score. Uh, Sparks gets the MVP, which is I agree with that one. Complete game shutout. Two two hit three hitter. Sparks three hitter, walk three, struck out two, pitch count of 100, ERA goes down to two. Matthewson gets a loss, he's pitched nine hits, two runs, one walk and five strikeouts. 
ERA goes up to 2.16. Well, 2.16 on the day, actually 2.47 ZRA is now, so it actually did drop a little bit. And actually Sparks ZRA is 3.36 on the season, which did go down. So let's see. Thomas had two hits, two for four for the Phillies. Courtney two for three. McGee and Courtney each had an RBI. Donland, Fresnahan, and Strang, the pinch hitter, each had hits for the Giants, but that was it. So the Giants dropped to four and five. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, and we'll see you in the next. So Philly takes the series two, two out of three, and we'll see if the Giants can get themselves back in the win column after losing now five of their last six. Thank you for joining me. Take care and God bless. Bye bye.